Okay, so over the last little while, uh, I've been able to get um, lots of uh, a lot of the different adept killer uh, challenges. So basically, what you have to do is get a merciless killer game. So that's the equivalent of two pips, basically, um, in a single match. Um, it's easier at the ash grade. Um, once you reach iridescent, you need four uh, emblems in order to do it. You need four iridescent emblems. So what this challenge is going to do is saying how strong is the killer, not in of itself the killer, but if you had to use just three perks, and those were the perks that the killer came with. And that's what my tier list is going to try and um, hopefully do here. So just as a basis, I'm going to probably start out the tier list just based on which ones I ended up completing earlier. And part of that's going to show just kind of, I guess, what kind of killers I like a bit more. So I'm going to haul this up. i got my Steam library here. Sorry, okay. I'm going to go Adept X. Okay. Uh, take a second. Achievements. View my achievements. Okay. Okay, so the first one shows that I got adept. Hmm. Okay, so adept trapper, I got that. This is December eighth, twenty twenty one. Okay, and Wraith and Hillbilly, I got these guys all in December, okay. So, we'll go Trap, so if it was in December, we'll start with, okay, Trapper, Wraith, Hillbilly, we'll put those guys as C, C's here for now. Um, and what's that? <laughs> Big man, most disgusting three gen I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, I forgot to connect the chatty bot again. It happens. All right. God damn it, Steam, what's going on here? All right. Control, find, adapt. Which one is it? Okay, so try it. Okay, I got those guys in December. So I'm putting that. Hello. Adept. Okay. Hillbilly. Okay, so Nia. So Nurse I got in November. So that was one of the first ones I got. So Nurse will put up, I think that November was probably when I started doing the stream, started going for these challenges anyway, so. Here, actually, I guess these guys are probably going to be more solid B tier, at least. Uh, okay, so Nurse I got was one of the first ones I got. That was, and, and part of the reason just because Nurse has really, really good perks. As a killer, I don't know how great she is. I mean, it's very hit or miss with those blinks, but all three of her perks are pretty good, and they work on... Uh, this is based on the Adept Killer Challenge, uh, um, Adept Killer Steam achievements, right? Which ones I thought were, e like, if it's easier, then I would consider it high tier, right? I'm just, as a basis, I'm going to start based on how quickly I actually completed them. Um, was in November. Shape was also December, so shape can go. Where the hell is he? Where? I'm blind. Okay. 
tag was in February, so this is going to be a lower tier. Yeah, so these are the ones I just completed recently. So, yeah. Hag. I know Executioner I did recently. Um, I did Oni. Recently. Where is he? Did I do Demogorgon? Oh, I might not have done Demogorgon. I don't think I actually got <sighs> yeah because you can't actually get that steam achievement huh. I hate Demogorgon's perks though so I'm just going to put him as D <laughs> uh, <laughs> and there's less killer game with him guess I could try that before well, oh well alright let's go further down Doctor, I got December 1st, pretty early on, yeah. Huntress, it's also early December. Um, so yeah, we'll put it as being one of the early ones. I got Cannibal, I would put up in higher tiers, but the thing is, he... People will DC so often, or you'll end up killing them too fast, right? Like, this took me a lot of attempts to get, so I actually I actually would put it in, in C tier. Because in order to get Merciless, you often have to do enough chases to actually get that emblem up. And unfortunately with Bubba, right, a lot of times you'll end up getting 4Ks, but you'll get Brutal Killer, or even, you know... Or well, entity displays. No, you wouldn't get entity displays, but you might not even get any pips out, out of it because often you have to end up just chasing people with M1 kills to get his his perks are good, and then there's just the people who just rage because you you know you decide to play Papa. I remember playing a lot of him. Now it's fine because like he is a good killer and he's great for the blood point farm because you got BBQ and chill BBQ and chili while doing it. But him, I, I would place more more in C tier. Um, so I want to drop Huntress down. I like Huntress as a killer, but to be honest, her perks are kind of garbage. And since this is an adept challenge, um, yeah, that's that that's where it ends up going. That's that's my that's my decision to make. If you're a, if a player DCs after five minutes and that, you should get four other gold points. Is the DCs not? No, it matters too. It's 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 just. Like, it can also be a problem if you put somebody on a hook and, like, none of the survivors come together. They just die on the hook, right? Then you only got one hook action out of that entire sacrifice, right? So that's... And sometimes people don't want to go it because it, it's dangerous going for an unhook if there's a, if there's a bubba too, right? That is wrong. No, they give you some points for the killer D, like somebody DCing. It's not worth nothing, but like when somebody DCs early on, you just you can't get it. Read the bottom. I didn't. Victory cube. Read the bottom. The other thing too is how hard the killer goals are dependent on the the rank that you're at. Like at a gray, it's in ash, it's easier to get. I think the uh, the emblems too, but I'm not really sure what you want me to look at. I'm looking at the bottom here, but. Anyway, that's cool. All right. Look, I gotta see which other ones I got here.
Nightmare is able to do pretty quickly, but... Hmm. Yeah, December 1st. I'd put him in an A tier, at least, because... You know what? Anyone who's, a, like, more of an M1 killer is probably going to be a bit easier to do it with. Just because you get more chase time. Anybody that gives you quick down, so, like, Oni can be kind of... Yeah, Oni can be kind of bad for that. Cannibal can do instant downs. He's gonna. Do, he does instant downs. He does instant downs. Can all be bad. I think the M1. I'll give the M1s a bit more love. Start that at least. Now, now what do we consider B tier to be? I don't know. I don't know. Man, this would have been better to do this video if I had two screens. Because it keeps resetting it out of time. Okay, I'm just going to scroll. I'm going to do the hits instead. It'll be easier. Pig. Pig is an m one but he also has the exposed effect, right? Same with Trickster, too. So I think Pig and Trickster, because they have perks that can make you get the knocks a little bit too fast, I'll put them B. But normally they don't. Like, they do, these people... I guess, I guess Hunter will put sort of in the middle then, too. I guess it depends. You can run add-ons, too, that can change that dynamic. Like, if you run as Huntress the instant down hatchet, right, then... I guess you can kind of move up or down sort of based on that. But you need a killers that force you to chase it. Clown, I found... Clown's one of my favorites, so... I remember him being very gang very early. Legion, I got so early, I don't even have a video for it. I'd, I'd re-record one if I actually got some, like, comments in the section of the video on YouTube. If it was more of, like, requested, then I'd, I'd probably be a bit more down for it, but... Yeah. These three people I'm gonna leave unranked because they don't. Uh, I've I haven't uh, I haven't done the challenge with them. Two of them I don't own. The twins I used to own, so I could kind of take a guess at that, but I don't actually have it now. So spirit I got in mid December. Legion was yeah the first one I think November twenty six. First time hooked is plus one killer point. Struggle plus one. Sacrifice plus two. Plus one phase for death. Mori is plus two. Yeah. There's a sick. Disconnected while loading with grant killers. Plus two. After five minutes, let's try with grant. Plus four. Yeah. Plague was one of the last ones we're gonna get. Mm. Deathlinger got fairly early on. Spirit, I got early on too. Spirit. Plague took me a bit longer. I feel like put these guys in sort of mid tier. Blight was fairly easy. I'd put in A tier. He's mostly all, though, Dragon's Grip could cause problems with reducing total amount of chase. And then Artist. I don't know what to do. I don't. Our perks are oak. No. Skirtcheck gives a lot of like reset, which is works well with her ability to shoot her crows across the map. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Guess I could start with B tier. Maybe I can move some of these guys, people around. 
Like, it's useful. I get that there's sort of a, it's not always, like, that there's the whole killer points thing, but mostly from what I can tell at the end screen is more just based on having enough in certain different areas of emblems. I know the system's a little bit different from that, but this is just kind of what I found based on my experience, right? It doesn't, it doesn't really show you all the math, so. Um, I guess Demogorgon I haven't done, so I should actually probably not list that one. Should have done that before. That's just seeing if I get a merciless. Though, like I've had merciless games with Demogorgon, I just haven't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, do I want to change it around? So now I'm trying to think about, should I move them up or down based on how good I think their perks actually are? Hag did, well, Hag was one of the killers I got later, but actually, her perks are actually quite strong. So I feel like, I feel like I can move her up to, uh, put her with the rest of the exposed people, the, all the people have instant downs. Maybe, because she does have Devour Hope. Yeah, the projectiles kind of go together here. Though I feel like he's a projectile t based as well, but he's just, he's not slow, right? Clown's very, he runs at the speed of a normal killer. He can slow down the survivors and he can speed himself up. So, yes, he's, he has projectiles, but the projectiles are just really a chase, a mechanic in the chasing. Look, you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to do the challenges, and you'll see what I mean, right? But this is just what you're gonna find. If you get more insta downs, it just it just fucks with you because you it's because of the chaser category. I know it doesn't say anything about chaser category when you're in the the killer point system, but whatever the wiki page says, like I get it. I've looked at it before. I've looked into it. I get that in theory this is how you know things work, but I can't I can't do this video based on killer points, right? I'm just not a video where I'm just gonna go over and read out you know what the what the wiki pages. This is more just based on what I found and things that I found helped me with challenges and things that I didn't find helped me with challenges. And one of the things I find did not help was getting insta downs. So I hope that uh, I hope that answer is satisfactory. Uh, an executioner I tried. Well, I had a lot of tries before I see. It also depends on what kind of add-ons you use, too. Because add-ons can make all the difference in the world. If I had done these all as, like, Iron Man with no add-ons, then maybe it would, you know, that would shift things up a bit, too. But hmm. yeah, because for chaser you want to have is you don't want insta downs, right? You want to be getting as many chases as you can, and just to to be considered having won a chase, you just have to hit those. Like if you hit a survivor and let him go, right? You you're considered to have won the chase. But if they escape without getting hit, then then it goes the other way. Gatekeeper is primarily based on the first nine minutes of the match. I also do a lot with Jenny defense. It's very hard to get a merciless killer game at iridescent level if they finish the game with the exit gates open. Um, do I want to change something? I feel like Plague could go... You know, actually, I really like Plague's perks. I did get that challenged later, but... I was working on that other build, and it didn't take me that many attempts to get it either. I don't remember it being particularly difficult. Pig's perks. Uh, should I really be factoring the people are GC? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's also a problem with the pig if you get the trap. The trap kill is a complete sacrifice, but then you don't get as many hook actions. Um, yeah, you know, I think I, I think I like the tier list as I, as it is. So I'm gonna write down the time for this, and then I'll probably clip that and try to make a video out of it.